Welcome back. These are the hormones that you can have to study for your step one exam. And we're going to have a separate video about each one of them. Today we're going to be talking about gastrin. Gastrin is released by G cells of the stomach antrum and the first part of the duodenum. To remember the function of gastrin, remember the three G's. G for increased gastric motility and G for increased gastric acids and G for increased gastric mucosa. Remember that gastric acids are secreted by parietal cells in the stomach. Parietal cells are stimulated by gastrin, by histamine, and by vagus nerve. Gastrin can be released physiologically by ingestion of food, which will cause stomach distension and stimulation of vagus nerve. This will result in increasing the acidity of the stomach, which will also stimulate gastrin release. Pathologically, we have high gastrin levels in Helicobacter pylori infection, in chronic PPI use, and in zollinger elson syndrome. And here's a small quiz for you. So what's the treatment of Helicobacter pylori? And here's the answer. Alright guys, that's everything I've got. Hopefully I made this easier for you. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you guys later.